I know you guys are fully aware of this controversy surrounding um, the article Grammys published on their website about um, the Hip Life Jenner. And they give credit to some of the pioneers of Hip Life, mention some names. And um, you guys know that after that issue, Stoneboy was a bit offended that his name wasn't mentioned in the article. He was expecting his name to be mentioned in the article. The name Stoneboy cannot be omitted mm -hmm. when it comes to the true image of what the state yeah, of the Canadian sound. Now, controversy now, Boba Ba, Bedu Baby. Now, I'm not going to bore this video with the whole controversies. If you've not heard about it, I'm going to put the, the I'm going to detail the controversies at the end because a lot of people know. So I'm not going to start talk about the whole controversies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll go go straight to one point. Today, I wake up, we are see some video for Hit FM. That was an interview of Root Eye. In the interview, Root Eye said certain things which I dispute. I don't agree with that fact. And uh, make we watch the clip, then I will explain why at the top that. Jack, Yanko, Yanko. I have stopped calling him Stone Boy. I'm calling him Honorable Satekla because he's he's at the moment musically he's the greatest Ghanaian music ambassador. Because this man is sending us places where we never thought we'd be. See, when you listen to the to the to the um, Hawaiian reggae, the reggae from Trinidad, Tobago, Guyana, when you listen to the reggae artists from those places, eh, some of them sound sweeter than Jamaica. Mm -hmm. But we attribute the whole thing to Jamaica. See, make I tell you something. The islands in the Caribbean, they, they speak patois. Me, I get friends for the army inside for the UK here we. St. Lucians, um, Trinidad and Tobago, Grenad Grenadians, Jamaicans, all of them they speak Patois. If you don't take time, I'm not gonna know the difference. In the so if they're the singer, it'll be Patois. And although they give all the 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 uh, credit to Jamaica, it'll be Caribbean ten. Now, if you are a Ghanaian and you sing in Patois, you are giving credit to Caribbeans and not Africa. To talk of Ghana. If you are singing in Patwa, not say international, who are you selling? If the Caribbean they sell. Anytime I go play Mansa Musa from Shatawali, anytime I go play any song will be hardcore dancehall from Stoneboy, people they ask me, ah, you be Caribbean? Um, then I'm like, nah, you be Ghanaian. Like, how? You guys speak Patwa. So he's not the biggest export of Ghanaian music. He's the biggest export of himself as a musician. I think that the whole production, the, the whole production unit of hip life. So I'm, I'm talking about the producers needed to understand that GQ had come up with something that was indigenous and it was um, authentically and originally ours. Okay. And so all producers should have around that time worked around what GQ had developed. Okay. Okay. And push that as the Ghanaian sound. Because that would have been so unique. That thing was Palogo. Yes. That thing was Panlogo from the Ga people. So it was ours. Original. Now, I agree with him that Senka JQ was starting to them beat. No? And then he was so much in the world and he was so much in the world and he was so much in those ones have been 16 years and all that. Tick tock more sound. Then it is sell for Nigeria very well. It is Senka so much in the world. Like we will have an authentic genre. If you've not watched my video I did about why Ghana music is not selling globally, I've put it here. Check it out. And I spoke about these things. Just as South Africa has created Ama Piano and Nigeria for Air Diafano, maybe would have created something that the world would have been clamoring for by now. Nigerians took the Ama Piano, twisted it, refined it, made it Am Ama Piano mixed with Afrobeat, Afro Piano. And sang in either their pidgin or their local language. If you if you check out Obi Otwa, my piano player in Nigeria, Ashake, and he sings in his Yoruba language. So the moment you hear, you know it's Nigeria. They didn't <laughs> um, adapt a piano and sing in Zulu or any kind of South African dialect. So you can't go and adapt uh, dance or bring it and come and sing in patwa. Because right now, if I do a uh, Yoruba and I'm a Ghanaian and I go global, now see I'm, a, I'm the biggest export of Ghana music. What do you mean by that? Kodian was doing reggae, but he was doing it in our local language. P 
people who are biggest export of Ghana music be Wenyala, Kenai Soba, our friend, the guy who is One Love Kubolo. These guys are oh, those people that loom bamo, sa akodie, rapping in chi. These guys are the biggest exports. Even me, we are the SM fan. I will go talk to you about the biggest export. People doing the local stuff, taking it globally, are the biggest export of our music. And not Stoneboy. Stoneboy is doing very well. Don't give him that accolade of being the biggest export of Ghanaian music to the world. I'm not trying to rubbish his works. But I'm trying to place his works where it has to be placed. Stoneboy has done very good job for himself as an artist but promoting Ghana music today yeah mo mo nya bo tell aha o si bi someone na dey crank asai oh so ye nya bo tell kakra but it doesn't change the fact that stoneboy is one hell of a very good artist i like him so much as a musician i know they like the personality that much but as a musician trust me if i see him anywhere i'll give him that respect eh stoneboy why ye dream is hard working Anywhere, if I get a chance to speak about him uh, in the music aspect, I'll say a whole lot of good things about Stoneboy. I like him so much in the music sense. If you've not really um, heard about these controversies, this is it. Grammy posted an article about hip life. Pioneers of hip life spoke about hip life. Now, the article spoke about Root Eye, Shatawale, and a whole lot of musicians who started Reggie Rockstone, who started the game. And mentioned people who are uh, watering the 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 genre. Mentioned um, Black Sheriff. Mentioned other artists. Stoneboy took the article, put it on his social media, um, uh, his ex, and was like, "Why wasn't my name mentioned?" And people were like, "Ah, yuck! You do dance or you don't do high life. So why do you want your name to be mentioned in pioneers and people who are who are promoting high uh, hip life?" Sorry. What what do you mean? He should, he, he should have listened to comments and feedback and apologize and, and be like, okay, yeah, but I'm part of those who are promoting Ghana music, which I even disagree with. Uh, so I think I should have been mentioned one way or the other. And Okran, I'll say you are petty. But he went on to have an interview with um, Portfolio. Still going on to say that eh, even Black Sheriff was mentioned. I was like, yo! The name Stoneboy cannot be omitted mm -hmm. when it comes to the true image of what the state yeah, of the Canadian sound, which which I think people we, have not yes. disagreed, but they are disagreeing on the premise that this yeah. was emphatic. emphatic yeah. Unless of course okay. today, Overlord want to tell me, no, please no, do no. have hold on, uh -huh. continue. This was emphatic, emphatic to, to high to, life, hey, to hip life, to hip life, and okay. the era. It okay. was very emphatic about an era. But it mentioned some other artists who were not in that era. Uh, unless of course you educate us on that. Which is Black Sheriff, our own brother, and Kim Paluta. Okay, so, uh, okay. And then he goes on this morning to say, Black right. Sheriff ranks as one of the Ghanaian artists essential to Ghanaian hip life. Look, that's what's on the, on the portal. Have yes. you seen this? Mm -hmm. How do you explain that? Even Black Sheriff was mentioned, so I should have been mentioned. Charlie, if you raise some level for your music career inside like certain things, you for not do. I have to be very honest with you. You know for do. So that's it, Charlie. Whatever you think about all these things, I beg, um, share for comment section, make we go. Don't forget to share the video as well. Like, and um, bring your insults. I'll sh I'll meet you with mine as well. Mano ya yao rough rough rough. Me find chow kra. Eya ma me yao rough. Subscribe to the channel too so that me can some no ya yao ne ya ma ne ya 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 ni ya kui. I'll go on continue. For now, dear, I go close. Peace out. Charlie, you forget it, Ghana.